Hi Sagittarius, I am the Awakened Dreamer and I'm here to give you a weekly tarot reading for the week of September 14th to the 20th. And I do want to of course take this moment to thank all of my new and returning subscribers. Welcome everybody. And if you haven't yet, please do subscribe, hit that subscribe button. And I more than appreciate all of your likes, shares, and comments. So head on down below and do just that. And while you are down there, don't forget to shoot me an email about booking a personal reading. And I will get those started for you. And I meditated on your energy before beginning this reading. And the message that came through, my friend, was change is good. Absolutely change is good. And so let's dive in. I'm going to pull a message or two from the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle deck. What do we have for the Sag... Oh, that was quick. I think when you I do so many readings in one day, Spirit gets annoyed with my voice. Sick of it. Okay. What else do we have for Sagittarius for the week? Very anxious feeling coming through as they come out like that. We have mutually beneficial venture to start. There is an extraordinary connection at the forefront of your life at this moment. Utilize this relationship to benefit everyone concerned. There's somebody in your life that is truly uh, beneficial to your life and you don't fully realize it at this time. I feel like they help you adjust your way of thinking and your way of being. Allowing yourself to take a step back and notice these qualities that are beneficial to your life. Accepting that you're not always right. Ooh, that's a hard one to accept for any sign. We're going to leave it at that. And then we have back on task. Be sure you are using your time in the best possible manner. You might consider reviewing your goals, your schedule, or a project you are working on. All could use some fine tuning. It's telling you, Sag, that this week you need to take a step back and in both situations, but for this to um, maybe re-examine where you're putting your time and effort towards and if that's the best possible um, options for you. And if need be, like, it's, it's okay to admit that some things need a bit of fine-tuning. Something to keep in mind. But also, if there's a, a goal or a, a situation that you have uh, decided to put on the back burner, I feel like it's a week for you to get back on task with that. Back on track. Let's continue. I want to pull seven tarot cards, one for each day of the upcoming week. Some shuffling, of course, first. Feeling very on edge right now. I feel like that's your energy I'm picking up on. What do we have for Sagittarius to continue this weekly read? Please and thank you, Spirit. Keep them coming. What else do we have? Keep them coming for Sagittarius. I'm just saying, just pull the last three for you. All right, my friend, to start off, we have the Four of Wands for Monday. I feel like there's a need for balance in your life at this time. I mean, there's no, uh, I'm not shocked to hear this message coming through given that with this back on task card, they were talking about, um, or we as, <laughs> in general, we're talking about um, you being more aware as to where you're putting your efforts towards, your energy towards this week, and maybe re-examining whether or not that is the 
healthiest and the best way to move forward. They're saying there are going to be reasons for you to celebrate moving forward, maybe not fully this week. Or maybe it'll be a little bit carried on or carried uh, through that celebration from a gathering you had in the previous weekend or week. Very interesting. It might be hard for you to transition from uh, that kind of celebratory way of being into um, maybe a bit more serious kind of buckling down energy as this week starts off. And then we have the tower card on Tuesday. Ooh, the end of stressing yourself out. The end of stressing other people out as well. The tower card comes in, my friend, when it is a situation that the universe and spirit feels needs their uh, inter intervention. They're, they feel the need to come in and knock something out or situation out in order to replace it with something healthier and better. And they feel like you're stressing yourself and other people out in a certain situation. Maybe unintentionally, but at the same time, spirit feels that your life will be healthier and much more beneficial to you and others if once this is cleared out of your way. Don't take it offensively, but that is just how it's coming through. Moving right along on Wednesday, we have the Four Swords. I feel like you're going to feel a bit exhausted and overwhelmed when it comes to Wednesday. It might be your own doing. It might be someone else's doing. A situation. Maybe your job. But I do feel like they're also advising you to take some time during this day, especially when you're feeling a bit burnt out and exhausted, to take some time to rest and mull things over. Maybe figure out how you truly feel about a situation or just some time to reflect. Get your, your thoughts straight so you can proceed in a, a calm and professional slash graceful manner. And then we have Ace of Pentacles for Thursday. For a lot of you on Thursday, Spirit and the Universe can come through and be like, this is a fresh start for you. Maybe uh, financially for a lot of you, but for some of you, just simply um, them offering you a way to start fresh with somebody or a situation. Potentially very connected to this tower moment. Allowing yourself to uh, Feel like you can approach a situation with a fresh mindset and a fresh way of being, a fresh eye after separating yourself and figuring things out a bit mentally. Very interesting. And they're saying there's light at the end of the tunnel. If it doesn't feel like it as this week goes along, there is. But certain things need to be uh, taken care of on a divinely uh, timed schedule, or most things rather. And then moving right along for Friday, Princess of Pentacles. Feels like a lot of you, uh, to start off on Friday, will be feeling very financially focused. It might feel like for some of you, if this was a, a financial offer or a fresh start, it's natural that this uh, Princess of Pentacles just pops up after it. Talking about starting off with a beginner's mindset about your finances and moving forward. For some of you, again, this is on the other note, is representing uh, taking a fresh and maybe more youthful perspective on whatever situation you've been dealing with. That's been at hand. Interesting. Just don't let yourself get um, anxious about whatever you are dealing with or about whatever you're starting. Moving on to Saturday to start the weekend, Knight of Cups. An offer will come in, or you will be presenting an offer to someone to mend a situation or to uh, advance yourself or somebody else in a situation. Very interesting. They're saying don't be upset 
if this doesn't go exactly the way you want to or planned. You know, remember, this is a week, again, with overall message change is good. It's a week of change and adjustments for you, Sagittarius, and you have to realize that it's a time for you to go with the flow and to just accept things that that fall to the wayside or accept that things aren't going to be exactly how you wanted them to be or how they used to be. And so letting go of that grip of control, if you will, on, on certain aspects of your life is going to be key for you this week. Princess of Cups to wrap up the week on Sunday. It feels like you finally adjust your perspective. I'm seeing the hanged man in my mind's eye as well about whatever you are dealing with, about whoever you're dealing with. Very confrontational energy from the fire signs this week. All three of them. But it feels like you you start to become more at ease and at and more peaceful within about where you're heading, about the changes that are happening, about uh, who is changing before your very eyes, even if it's you. Wow, that's powerful. And I'm also seeing a very much a star card energy coming through with this, where you do have some healing left to do internally, but also with a certain situation so that new opportunities and blessings can flow in. Let's finish off your weekly read by pulling a message or two from the Find Your Happy deck. Bring some positivity to end off your weekly read. What do we have for Sag to wrap up the week? Excellent. First one out. I allow myself to feel it's a detox for my soul. Ooh, a very similar message came through for Aries where they push their feelings down to uh, push their feelings down or push them to the side and avoid them because they don't like to feel vulnerable or have to truly be honest with themselves at times. Similar message coming through for you. By being honest with yourself and honest with others about who, how you feel, you finally get to the root of an issue or you finally are able to, excuse the sound in the background if you can hear it, or you're finally able to wrap something up that has been bothering you. But doing so in a graceful way is also coming through. It didn't work out and that's a beautiful thing. Wow. It feels like something that may not have been fully connected to you didn't work out. And it everything happens for a reason. It may have reconnected you with somebody or it may have, or maybe a situation or an argument may have not, or a conversation turned into an argument and didn't pan out. And that was for a reason. It was to teach you and the other person or the other situation a lesson. It was to help you to grow and heal on a multitude of levels that you don't fully realize just yet. And you may not fully realize it all, but it's those kind of things that happen behind the scenes or, you know, the universe makes happen so that you can grow and evolve on a soul level to become who you're meant to be in this lifetime. To maybe uh, mend or patch up a relationship or a situation again that needs mending, that needs healing. So again, Sagittarius, as you move through this week, make sure you're being one with and going with the flow when it comes to these changes and adjustments that are popping up. And if need be, take time to yourself and step back and allow yourself to clear your mind and figure out how you truly feel, but be honest with yourself and others about how you're feeling. And accept that when things don't work out, sometimes it's meant to be, and that uh, everything will work out in the end in the way it's meant to, when it's meant to. But on that note, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe to my wonderful channel and head on down below and do like this video and leave me a comment. I want to hear all about your personal situation 
And while you're down there, don't forget to shoot me an email about booking a personal reading. And I hope you have the most amazing week. And I will see you next time. Bye, Sagittarius.